You're watching Wildflower Video Tips. I'm Lindsay Moe. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to use bins in Premiere Pro to organize your project. I love creating organized projects in Premiere Pro and using bins is crucial. It helps keep everything neat and tidy so you can find it, use it, and get on with your life. As food bloggers, we have a lot on our plates, a lot of different tasks to learn and do, and video editing is just one of them. So I want to help make it as quick and painless as possible for you. Let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial. The first thing we wanna do when we get into Premiere Pro is look for our project panel on the bottom left here. If you're not seeing it, you wanna to look towards the top and make sure you are in editing view not something like color or effects. You can also find the project panel in those, but for our purposes, we're going to stick to editing. And if you're still not seeing it, you can check to make sure you haven't clicked on one of these other tabs down here, in which case you can look for the double carrot and choose your project panel. Another thing I like to do is just press shift one on the keyboard and it jumps right there. Now we are going to create what's called bins for every different type of thing that we're going to work with in our project. So you can look down for this little file folder down here called new bin. And for this project, I'm going to pretend like we have footage from two different cameras. So I'm going to have camera one, create another new bin for camera two. Let's do music, voiceover, sequences, and titles. And you can see as we created those, they all kind of nested into each other. We don't want them to do that because we don't want to hide them. We want to be able to see all of them on their own. So we can just grab the file folder, drag it over to the color, and that helps them each become their own parent category. Now we have them all neat and tidy over here. What I'm going to do is color code them as well. So to do that, we can control click or right click and go to label. And you can choose whatever colors you'd like here or make sense to you. I'm going to give that one violet. Camera two, let's give iris. Music will be forest. Sequences, magenta titles, tan, and we can leave voiceover orange. Now we want to import some footage into these bins, so I will click on the one I want to import into. You can do file import, or I like to press command I, and we will pull in some avocado toast footage there, and go down to camera two. Let's import some footage. We'll do some footage of guacamole here. Now you can see all of the footage in both the camera one and the camera two bin have the same color. We can go ahead and shift click to highlight all of them, then control click and give them all the same label color as their bin. And that will help us keep organized in our sequence. And we can go ahead and create a sequence just Give one click on sequences and do file new sequence. We will call our sequence creating bins. Now the reason it's helpful to color code different types of footage is let's say I'm pulling in some of this. As well as some of this guacamole footage, which you can see was shot upside down. When I'm editing, I like to create a rough cut of everything I think I'm going to need in there, and then I'll go back and do any color correction or add any effects that I need. And that is the point at which I would turn this footage. You can see from looking in our sequence, we can tell now which footage is upside down and needs to be turned. It's this blue footage, so I could go into effects 
and rotate it 180 degrees without needing to scrub through my footage and figure out which one I needed to turn. I've linked everything you might need in the description box below, including a link to the blog post on this. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe. I'll be back next week with another video tip. See you next time.